What's up folks, John here from Dad and Mad, and today I'm going to be showing you the quad lock vibration dampener. This is Dad and Mad on YouTube. Stay tuned, check this out. Three, yes. two, one, go. go. So, quad lock, I've always been a fan. I've, uh, I've had their products for a little while, but um, since having my iPhone 11 Pro, uh, I had a, an issue a couple of days into owning it where I went on a, my first ride with it on the handlebars and it shook one of the cameras loose. Now, I never had that issue with the iPhone 8 Plus, but I've heard of other people that have had similar issues and clearly it's a widespread issue because Quadlock have addressed it with the introduction of this, the motorcycle vibration dampener. So let's get into it. It's a nice little pull tab. Okay. So it looks like you get an Allen key and the dampener itself. Now this is how I use my quad lock. I know some people have a, a one that goes directly onto the bars. Uh, I like the ram mounts which I use with these brackets. I think they're really versatile. I use them with cameras, I use them with the sat nav, I use them with the quad lock. So that is my quad lock mount of choice. So forget the instructions. I'm going to undo this. It's quite hard when it's not on the <laughs> well it's not hard. Biddly when it's not on the bars. So we'll undo that. And from my understanding you put this on in your position of choice which it doesn't really matter with the ram mount because it's a ball and you just screw it in Yeah, I can see how that's going to work. Just tighten that. I have a tendency to over tighten things, so I'll be careful not to over tighten it. But you also don't want it coming off, so. See that? So this product has got a little dampness to absorb the shock. And I think that'll be, I'm guessing they've done some rigorous testing on this because they don't want any more backlash than they've already had from all this. And then you choose your desired position for the amount. Hmm. We'll go with that. Looks good. I can always adjust it. So... So that's, I'd say that's tight enough. So there you go. I'll give you a shot of it mounted on the bike. It does make it a bit more bulky, it does make it a bit more cumbersome. I'm not sure how this would look when it's paired with the, the, the charging. You can get the wireless charging mount. So whether you can also include the dampener and the charging mount together, I've not looked into that yet. But there you go. Simple, easy, save yourself a phone. I was lucky I had a, a new phone that was within, within warranty, so I managed to get a replacement. But uh, some people aren't so fortunate, so there you go. Let's, uh, let's get this mounted on the bike.
So there you go, seen it mounted on the bike. Easy, quick. It was cheap, I think it was 18, 18 quid, 18 pounds, British pounds. Um, so for the cost, of, you know, to save you the cost of a phone or a camera or repair, I think 18 quid is, I mean, they should be giving them out for free, to be honest, if you've if you bought one before and you've had issues with your phone, but business is business. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Short but sweet, but wanted to share that little purchase with you and for anyone that's having similar issues. Take care. See you soon. Tara a bit.